How often do you find time to think? I really mean think alone, sit somewhere, whether it's at home or in your office or in a coffee shop, take uh, one of these kind of little notebooks that I have and that I like to use. I also do it on my phone um, in an app or two, but just kind of sit down and I don't mean journal, but start writing down your thoughts, your ideas, the opportunities, challenges, things you want to spend more time on, priorities. Because if our days are always packed, and this is something that, especially in the Western world, the United States in particular, not as much across the world, but here we have this badge of honor that we're always busy. I'm so busy. I'm working 12-hour days, 15-hour days. That's really not anything to be proud of. It's how much quality is being put into that work. Because you can put in eight-hour days of quality, focus, attention, focus on really important things, not urgent items that pop up at random times, and still accomplish more and be more productive than sitting in your office for 50% or more time, so from eight to 12 hours a day, and yet not get as much accomplished, actually be more distracted, more frustrated, get more tired, more aggravated. But in each of these days, the real question is, do we find time to think? Sit down, reflect on what we're doing. If you have somebody who has access to your calendar, maybe does scheduling for you or schedules meetings and things, Find ways. It may not be every day, but there should be every, you know, two or three days at least. Where you can block off, even if it's only 30 minutes, but it's just you with your thoughts and pen to paper. Taking an inventory of what you and your team as a whole has done, is currently doing and working on, and where they should really be. And then make adjustments going forward. Also, in those times when you're really relaxed, you're not in a meeting, you're not focused on reading a contract or agreement, you're not watching or attending a a demo or a pitch by a vendor, you're actually free of some of these limitations and you're able to focus on what really truly matters to you as an individual, to your team as a group of professionals, and to your overall business. Those times, I often do that at night when everybody in my household is asleep and I'll sit downstairs and I'll start kind of jotting down thoughts and ideas and think about where I want to go and how do I want to position myself and what are the things that I'm not good enough or not doing well enough or not doing enough of and maybe what are the things that I'm doing too much of, right? And then try to be mindful about these adjustments. Because if we're always with our heads down, working and working and executing and never take intentional time to look up, to make sure that we're going in the right direction, the life and our careers will pass us by at the end of the day. You might be several rungs higher on that corporate ladder, let's just say. But it would be very, very unfortunate to discover that that ladder has been propped up against the wrong building. Have a wonderful day. I wish you all the best. If this is the first video you see, please consider subscribing and sharing it with your friends and colleagues. And most importantly, leave your thoughts below on the topic I just covered. Have a wonderful day.